Uh, here's a uh, very interesting time capsule that a lot of people don't know about Profile. Uh, we entered into uh, building mountain bike product back in 1999. Uh, the mountain bike project was headed up by a gentleman by the name of uh, uh, Dave Robichaud. And Dave had been after me for years to come here and get a job. He wanted to come in here and weld. And he tried to make it on his own, building bikes out of his garage, but uh, it just wouldn't make ends meet for him. So he came in here one day and said, Jim, I need a job. I need one now. So I brought him in. He started the uh, first jobs that he had. He was doing uh, a lot of our BMX bikes at that time and forks and handlebars and so forth. And uh, he approached me one day and he says, hey, Jim, I'd really like to build a mountain bike. Uh, you think we could possibly take on a project like that? And I said, yeah, let's, let's give it a shot. So he had some great ideas. He was a, a great fabricator very intelligent guy on suspension. So him and I sat down and started to go through <clears throat> the uh, how would this how would we would start this and what we would do. Uh, he drew up a, a drawing, a rough drawing of what he wanted to build and uh, the shop all sort of pitched in and started to make the parts for this mountain bike. It was an aluminum mountain bike is what it was. Had a, uh, a steel uh, rear tail section like this, the suspension tail section. Uh, this was uh, how the bike was designed. Um, we uh, continued to uh, try to perfect the way that we manufactured this. And uh, Dave would be working here. He'd stay at nights and work almost all night trying to get this project off the ground. And uh, over here we have... Uh, this is sort of an emotional thing because this is the table where Dave worked. Uh, he had this, not like this, but uh, th this is the time capsule that I'm talking about. This table is pretty much the way it is uh, when Dave uh, was tragically killed in uh, 2001 in a, a horrific uh, 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 parachute accident. So. Anyway, uh, you know, he was a very organized person, uh, not looking at the table, but he was very organized by what he did. This is some of the head tubes right here that, uh, you know, we had. Uh, there's bags of gussets that he would sit and make at nighttime. Uh, these would go on the aluminum frame to, uh, you know, the gussets that would go into the head tube and things like that to reinforce it. Uh, this was obviously here the fixture that he used for the mountain bike. This is still set up to build the mountain bikes, this uh, fixture right here. Um, and he worked hard at it, and we wound up getting our first mountain bike done. This is what it was. It was called the DR1, uh, full suspension bike. And Dave uh, asked if he could go out to California out to a big bear out there and to a mountain bike race. And uh, he took the bike out there and... Uh, Anybody that want to ride it, he uh, let them ride it, uh, take it up the hill and ride it down. And uh, uh, people were really impressed about how the bike handled and the suspension and how it worked. And uh, we got this project off the ground. And uh, the first year, 2000, uh, we uh, worked very hard at it. We started to sell. We sponsored a team out of New Hampshire. Uh, not, I can't remember what the team was, but they all rode the uh, mountain bikes, did very well with it. And we were just uh, really getting close to getting this project off the, round, uh, off the ground when uh, Dave was tragically killed and uh, uh, he was the one that was heading up this project. And, uh, you know, the sad part of it is we had to shut that project down because we just didn't have the, uh, you know, the capable people of working here to be able to uh, take it forward from there. So um, it's a sad story, but uh, he brought a lot to this company. Uh, he was... Uh, a great person, uh, and his heart was really in what he was doing, particularly the mountain bike end of the business. So, just want to make tribute to Dave Robichaud. Uh, again, he was a, a great person that uh, uh, is still uh, sadly missed to this day. So.